Hi, today's story from Joy of Reading is three, two, one, blast off. The authors Prabha Ram, Sheila Priut, illustrator is Vidyun Sabhani, and the publisher is Pratham Books. Three, two, one. It sounds like a count down and blast off. The rocket seems to be blasting off or launching into the space with a loud explosion. Let us see what the story is about. 12 dreamy constellations floating in space. Constellations. What are these? Seems like they are floating in the space. So what do I see here? I see some patterns that are joined in the sky and basically these dots must be stars. So let's see what constellations really mean. A constellation is a group of stars that forms a pattern in the sky. It sometimes looks like a mythological character or an animal if you have a good imagination. Cygnus, Lacerta, Triangulum, Cepheus, the Little Dipper, Lynx, Draco, Hercules, the Big Dipper, Scutum and Orion are names of the constellations on page two. Looks like we were right. Constellation is a group of stars and when you connect them, it forms a pattern in the sky. It forms different pattern. And sometimes if you have a really good imagination or thinking, it looks like a mythological character. Mythology is ancient traditional stories in our cultures. It could look like a character or a person from that story or sometimes an animal. And what do we see here? We have these different names. Let's go to this page. Looks like this is Cygnus, Lacerta, Triangulum like a triangle, Cepheus, the Little Dipper or the Ursa Minor, Lynx, Draco, the Big Dipper or the Ursa Major. It's also called Saptarishi. We have the Hercules, Scutum and the Orion. You can see there are different shapes like this. This one seems to have an X or a sword out here. Hercules is the mythological character we know about. If you don't know, search about him in the internet. So these constellations are floating in the space. 11 shiny satellites up in the sky. So I think these objects here must be satellites. We will see what they mean. A satellite is an object that goes around a planet or a star. Earth has a natural satellite, the moon. Artificial satellites are launched into space for communications, astronomy and weather studies. Okay, so these are satellites and it is an object that goes around a planet or a star and the planet could be Earth as well. But Earth also has a natural satellite, the moon. The moon goes around the Earth. It is there naturally. Nobody, human beings did not create it. But human beings create artificial satellites and put them or launch them into the space. These satellites are used for various purposes, communications, talking or information passing, astronomy, the study of sun, moon, planet, stars and objects in the space is astronomy and also for the study of weather. So these are some of the purposes that we launch or put satellites into the space. And satellites are these objects here. 10 busy engineers working on a rocket. So these are 
the engineers engineers are those who try to design build objects or machines anything right mechanical engineers electrical engineers and electronics engineers work together to assemble a rocket so there are different types of engineers mechanical those who work with machines electrical and electronics engineer who work with electricity and electronic appliances so they all come together to put together a rocket or assemble a rocket nine expert scientists calculating the orbit scientists figure out what path the satellite will take when it is in space the path was called orbit so it should be the path is called orbit so it's still called an orbit only so scientists these are the experts in the field of science they are what are they calculating a mathematical problem they're trying to calculate the path that the satellite will take when it goes around the planet or the star and when they are this path is called the orbit so these are the people who figure out okay this is how it should go this is the path it has to take around the planet or the star eight stable planets going around the sun we all know in the solar system the planets go around the sun there are eight planets i am sure you are thinking there are nine but we will see why we call it eight four rocky inner planets mercury venus earth mars and four gassy outer planets jupiter saturn uranus neptune make up the eight major planets of our solar system pluto used to be the ninth planet but in 2006 international astronomical union iau decided that pluto was a dwarf planet so we have four inner inside rocky filled with rocks those planets are mercury venus earth and mars and four planets on the outer rings they are filled with gas gassy planets jupiter saturn uranus and neptune they are the stable major main eight planets they used to be pluto as well which was thought to be as the ninth planet but the international astronomical union this is a this is a body or organization that looks into the research of space they figured out that pluto was a dwarf or a small planet compared to the other eight main ones we will have more details soon about this dwarf planet seven icy comets passing through so seven really cold icy comets seems like these things must be the comets what are they comets are large chunks of ice rock and gas they orbit the sun but are usually far from earth as they pass they leave a trail that looks like a tail some famous comets are hale bob halley hyakatake and shoemaker levi so comets are these objects they are huge pieces really huge pieces or chunks made out of ice rock and gas they also go around the sun they orbit the sun and are far away from the earth very very far so when they go like this they leave a trail or a path that looks like a tail but it's actually not a tail they leave all these rocks or gas behind them
and it looks like as though it's a tail behind them. And they have some famous comet names like Hal Bob, Halley, Hyakatake, and Shoemaker Levi. Six curious people looking through telescopes. So this instrument here should be a telescope. What does it do? Telescopes help us see objects that are far, far away, like the comets, stars, planets, and moons. So telescope are those instruments that help us to see objects that are very far from us. And that includes comets and stars and planets. Five small dwarf planets hanging around. What are dwarf planets? Dwarf planets are like planets, but they are much smaller and they do not yet have a clear path around the sun. This means that objects like asteroids and comets litter their path. Pluto, Ceres, Eris, Makemake and Haumea make up the five recognized dwarf planets of our solar system. So these dwarf planets are small in comparison with the others. And one more difference they do not have a clear path around the sun. So they, the, they do not have a clear orbit. And so objects like asteroids or comets can come in their path. And they have given five small dwarf planet names here. Four careful workers fueling the rocket. What are they doing? Seems like they are putting some gas or petrol into the rocket. Let's see more. Just like cars need petrol to run, rockets need fuel to take off and do their job. Rockets can use both liquid fuel and solid fuel. So just like we need to put petrol in a car so that it goes, we need fuel either liquid or solid for rockets. Three skilled astronauts in their space suits. So astronauts are the ones who go into the space, are those human beings who go into the space. And what are they wearing? They're wearing something called space suits. Space suits protect astronauts in space. Suits have oxygen supplies for astronauts to breathe and also water to drink. They prevent astronauts from getting too hot or too cold and keep them safe from space dust. So just like we wear clothes like this on Earth, in the space astronauts wear what is called the space suit, something like this. And it supplies oxygen so that they can breathe properly and also water to drink. And also the suit helps them feel comfortable, not too hot or too cold. And they also protect them from the dust that is present in the space. Two eager kids at the Mission Control Center. What is this Mission Control Center? Mission Control Center is a room where team leaders get together and make sure the launch goes smoothly and everything works as designed till the mission is complete. So this is a room where everyone involved in the rocket launch or putting the rocket into the space, they all come together and make sure and monitor with all their devices that everything is working rightly till the mission or this important assignment is finished or completed. One roaring rocket ready to soar. A rocket is a self-propelled vehicle 
that can shoot into space. It is used to launch man-made satellites into space. So there is a roaring rocket going with a very loud noise, ready to soar, go up. So this rocket, what is, does it do? It takes, it carries satellites that are being made by humans and puts them into space or it launches satellites into space. Blast off, zoom, and off it goes. India created a world record in 2017 when it launched 104 satellites from a single rocket PSLV C-37. Scientists at the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, launched the rocket from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. So, from a single rocket, India launched 104 satellites and they created a world record. Before that, Russia had launched only 37 satellites. Compare 37 and 104. What a big difference. And the scientists who work from the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, they launched this rocket from Sri Harikota, which is in Andhra Pradesh. And the name of the center is Satish Dhawan Space Center. I hope you enjoyed with me reading upon celestial objects, space concepts, and also the people involved in the study of astronomy. Thank you. Let us again go through some of the difficult words from the book. Constellations, group of stars that appears to form a pattern or a picture. I just want to let you know here that there are lots and lots of constellations in the sky and it is just not limited to the 12 that we saw. Character, person in a novel. Mythology, traditional and cultural stories. Assemble, gather together. Dwarf, anything that is much smaller than its type or species. Try these questions. Name the different experts involved in rocket building launching process. On January 24th, 2021, SpaceX launched satellites which beat India's record. Find out how many satellites they launched. Can you name some constellations not given in the book? If this book inspired you to get into a career in astronomy, Go for it. Until I see you in the next book, this is Harini signing off. Bye.